Yeah, see? Low me, huh? Kill Martin. I was born 10, oh, should I say October 15, 1954, in Honolulu, Hawaii. To listen to my parents, to do my homework, and to get along with my sisters and brothers. Which I did cooking, cleaning, that's about it. And take care of my little brother and sister. Well, we definitely went to church on Sundays. And Saturdays was pretty much like really cleaning the house. Everybody helped out then. What did we do on the Um, We went to go visit our cousins. And we never really went anywhere as far as like Disneyland or anything like that, but we always went to visit our relatives. How did we celebrate holidays? Um, just all together. We were always together on our holidays. And um, we just had a great time. Only as far as church, in October, we always had White Sunday. And that was when all the kids would get together and we would put on like a, not a play, but my mom would always have us saying verses out of the small Bible. And we'd do that every year. And then after we did that, then my parents would, they would do all the cooking and everything and then we would celebrate. I definitely had to come home right after school and I would have to make sure the house was clean and make sure dinner was on the table. So when my parents came home from work, all they had to do was go wash up and sit down and have dinner. Well, let's see. It was, my parents, they sort of shielded us away from some of it. My dad, because we were born in Hawaii, wanted to bring us to the mainland so we could learn, get a better education. Um, but when we first moved here, we were the only Samoan family in the Navy shipyard. So it was sort of hard. My parents would speak to us in Samoan, but we answered them in English because my dad didn't want us to have an accent, you know, from Hawaii. And it was, it was a little hard at first, but we adjusted. Mm. Well, I don't think it changed in a major way. I just, you know, we were raised to respect and listen to our parents, so whatever they said we had to do, we did it. Um, I know that my dad, his dad, my grandfather, who I never met because he passed away when my dad was just a child. And so my dad had to be like the man of the house and he had a really hard time with that. But he took care of his mom and his brother and sister. I guess raising my kids to respect and to love each other, especially their siblings and their cousins, because that's very important. My parents taught us that family is one thing you can always depend on. I expected them to listen and to love and respect each other, and so far so good. Well, my upbringing was more because my parents are both Samoan, so they were a lot strict. Well, my dad was very strict. He was in the Navy for 20 years, and like I said, he had to help his mom when he was a little boy growing up, so he was pretty strict, but um, he was very loving, and my mom was just always nice. She was always easy to talk to.
what my parents always taught us, that there's nothing like family, and there's no one else you can really depend on but your family. But you have to learn to get along, and to love each other, and respect each other, no matter what. Yes, I did. I didn't want my kids to be afraid of me because I was really afraid of my dad growing up. But then now that I'm grown up, I realize it wasn't as bad as I thought it was because my dad was always there when I needed him. About me? Hmm. That my children and my grandchildren love me and that, um, I just want to be known for being a nice, loving person. <laughs>